For Canadian Brian Erb, walking through NASA's Johnson Space Center is a lot more than a visit to a museum. When he stops to look up at the top of the giant Saturn V rocket, he's looking at an important part of his life's work. When Neil Armstrong stepped onto the moon in 1969, Erb had poured a decade into helping make it happen. How special was that moment? Oh, you know, <laughs> one of those signal moments of your life. Wow. Herb was one of 30 engineers recruited by NASA from Canada after the death of the Avro Arrow. They would spread out in the organization and move around. Their contributions would be enormous. Herb worked on heat shielding for most of his time at NASA. He also came up with the idea of rolling the spaceship like a barbecue to balance out the temperatures in space. How important was that? Well, I'd like to think it was absolutely critical, of course. <laughs> Canadian Owen Maynard used to joke that he was shocked by everything the Americans let him do. Originally from Sarnia, Ontario, he was a big part of designing the lunar lander for Apollo and then headed up systems integration. That basically meant he had a hand in everything. Ross Maynard is his son. Show me a model of that rocket, point to something, and I could tie my father into that, and I can go on for four hours. Bruce Aikenhead, born in Didsbury, Alberta, worked with the first class of astronauts, the Mercury 7. In terms of space history, legends. After his time at NASA, Aikenhead would return home and run Canada's astronaut program. Another Canadian has been called one of the most brilliant men to ever work at NASA, Jim Chamberlain, originally from Kamloops, BC. He had major roles with all three of NASA's first spacecrafts, Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. When Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin planted a flag on the moon 50 years ago this week, Canadians helped get it there. Although one of them did fight against it. Part of Owen Maynard's job was to worry about weight, and he thought taking a flag was frivolous. He argued so much NASA went around him, they had someone else build it, and for years Maynard would joke, they basically smuggled it on. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Houston.